Trials is one of the few racing series that still has me twisting and jumping in my seat alongside my rider, and Trials Rising is no exception. Despite its simple controls, its awesome fundamentals require quick reactions and delicate finesse that make beating my fastest times a consistently exciting challenge. It's counterproductive, though, that Rising makes some frustrating tweaks that shift the focus of its progression system from encouraging self-improvement to relentless grinding of its daunting optional contracts. But at least the creative courses themselves are as thrilling as ever. Speeding through a course for the very first time is a tense game of quickly reading the terrain and adjusting your speed and balance on the fly to smoothly roll through it as fast as possible. Doing so takes far more than just holding down the accelerator, and there's a deep pool of tricky movement techniques to learn if you want any hope of completing Rising's hardest levels. Earning a gold medal on my first try was always a proud moment, but some of the more technical courses just made me happy to have reached the finish line at all. Going back and improving on those levels is a different game altogether, one that's more like solving a series of clever, momentum-based puzzles. Rising isn't a huge graphical improvement over Trials Fusion, but many of its 100-plus stages feel deeper and lusher, with dynamic elements like trains and cars that zoom in and out of your path. I particularly loved levels that really broke out of the straightforward track formula, letting you drive through a crashing airplane or along a moving train, and the early Hollywood level shows just how crazy the environments can get. Unlocking those levels sure is a drag, though. Where previous games lock new sets of levels behind a required number of medals, Rising ties them to your player level. So instead of encouraging you to go back and improve your times, you're pretty much forced to grind Rising's new sponsor contracts because they offer the most experience rewards by far. Three to five thousand apiece for the hardest ones, versus a measly 450 for improving most medals. Contracts replace Fusion's challenges, adding special conditions to a stage for bonus experience and cosmetics. They can be amusing optional distractions that range from single requirements like doing six backflips to stacking multiple at once like doing 50 meters of wheelies and 10 front flips while on fire. They do make me look at courses differently as I try to weave in extra flips or limit faults, but I don't like how the part of trials I've always loved, beating my times and gradually improving, is essentially made a waste of time here. In the second half of Rising, I often needed close to 90,000 experience to open up the next set of tracks, and that's tedious to grind out even with contracts. That frustration is compounded by Rising's more aggressive focus on PvP, which frames every run as a race against random player ghosts, even if you're not going for time. It was infuriatingly common for me to finally overcome a hard contract, only to be rewarded with this. I thought it wanted me to be completing these things. Surprisingly, Rising's most impressive new addition is its tutorial. Put simply, this is the first time a Trials game has actually taught players the tools needed to beat its hardest levels. Concepts like bunny hopping, throttle control, and more each have their own instructive training course. It's downright revelatory for the series. The level editor, on the other hand, remains a nigh-infinitely complex tool, and as a result can create nigh-infinitely complex levels. I'm very happy it's still here, so I can play the shared creations of people with more talent for using it than I have. Its freeform customization has also been extended into rider cosmetics now, letting you add stickers to your bike and outfit, or similarly buy other people's creations. Trials Rising primarily doles out its cosmetics through laughably stupid loot boxes full of a deluge of uninteresting abstract stickers and duplicate items. Thankfully, they're purely cosmetic, frequently acquired, and completely ignorable if you prefer. Trials Rising offers some of the coolest levels in the series to date, and its new tutorial system does an amazing job of actually teaching you how to execute its hardest techniques. That wide variety of tracks is unfortunately bogged down by the frustrating grind it takes to unlock them and some strange decisions that lead to a more discouraging experience, but it's still satisfying to get on the bike and try for better medals if you can make it to the finish line. For more Trials Rising, check out an early look at the extreme Hong Kong Harbor track, 
And for more racing, check out our review of Dirt Rally 2.0. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.